Today in the Daily Dose, the Treaty of Versailles. In a January 1918 speech before Congress, President Woodrow Wilson laid out a 14-point plan which called for a non-punishing, equitable peace in post-World War I Europe while creating an international arbitration organization which became known as the League of Nations. When he arrived at the Palace of Versailles for the Paris Peace Conference, as part of the big four Western nations who won the war, the outcome proved to be heavily punitive on the Germans, setting the stage for years of simmering resentments. Present at the Paris Peace Conference was British Prime Minister Lloyd George, Italian leader Vittorio Emmanuel Orlando, Woodrow Wilson and George Clemenceau of France, and while each leader brought competing objectives to the table, the European leaders quickly labeled Wilson's 14 points as too naive and idealistic. Instead, the European allies imposed harsh peace terms on Germany, stripping the nation of 10% of its territory and all its overseas colonial possessions. It also severely demilitarized Germany and forbade the country from maintaining an air force. More importantly, Article 231 of the treaty, also known as the War Guilt Clause, forced the Germans to take sole responsibility for starting World War I, further requiring the downtrodden German nation to pay enormous reparations for Allied war expenses and losses. Germans were understandably infuriated over the treaty, quickly and accurately assessing the document as a dictated peace replete with burdensome reparations that eventually topped 132 billion Reichsmarks, a sum so usury that few in the West expected Germany to ever pay in full. In response to the Treaty of Versailles, radical right-wing political forces like the National Socialist Workers' Party, or Nazis, soon gained growing support in the 1920s and 30s with open promises to reverse the national humiliations inherent in the Treaty of Versailles. After the onset of the Great Depression of 1929, economic instability in Germany further weakened the post-war Weimar government, paving the way for Adolf Hitler's ascendancy to power in 1933. And there you have it, the Treaty of Versailles, today in the Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.